welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, then don't forget to press the subscribe and bell button because like I always say, I bring you Jesus-centric and hope-filled content every week. So on today's episode of On Request, I am going to be answering a question that one of you sent me. So the question I've picked for this episode has been sent to us by Varshini Karthik. And her question is, how can we build a more intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit? So I really did take some time to pray about it and ask the Lord to show me what are some of the things that he's really helped me do that have built my relationship with him. And I thought that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I hope this helps you. And if you feel like this is going to bless your heart, then make sure you watch this video till the end. Yes, the first thing that I've understood is that this desire to build intimacy with the Holy Spirit has been put in our hearts by the Lord and he himself is going to give us the power to fulfill this desire. You know, us wanting to build a friendship with Jesus or us wanting to build a, a relationship with the Holy Spirit is not so much of an initiation by us. It's not something that we initiate, but it is rather a response to something that God began. Remember that God sent his one and only begotten son, Jesus, to our world so that the veil between us and him would be torn and now we could approach him boldly as sons and daughters of the Most High. So us wanting to build a relationship with the Lord is us simply responding to something that the Father already started 2000 years ago. Remember, the Bible tells us that we love because he first loved us. So our choice to want to build a friendship with Jesus is simply us reciprocating to his friend's request. So like any relationship, I think it first begins with a choice to make a commitment. You know, whether it be a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship or a husband-wife relationship or simply any other friendship, it starts with you saying, yes, I want to become your friend. So I think that's the first step, just inviting the Holy Spirit into your life. Say, yes, Lord, what you have done for me on the cross, I receive it, I believe in it, I accept it. So would you come into my life and reveal your heart to me? So I think that's the first step, to consciously make a choice to say yes to God's invitation to, to your world or in your life. So I think that's how it started for me as well. I simply said yes to the Lord. Now, apart from that, I think the word of God obviously helps you build um, a relationship with the Father. Remember that the Bible actually reveals the heart of God right from the beginning to the end. It's all about the heart of God for us. And the Bible is a love letter from the Father, from the Holy Spirit to us. And so if you want to have a relationship with someone, you know, in any human relationship, when they write you a love letter, you must read it and you must try to soak and absorb the emotions that are hidden or, uh, you know, in the love letter, you need to read between the lines. And so I think that's what you need to do. Uh, take some time off every day to spend quality time with the Lord. I've done a video on this on quiet time, so maybe you can check that out. And just set aside a specific amount of time that you would just devote to the Father, read the Word, and allow the Word to study you back, to read you back. And don't just read chapters, you know, for the heck of it, but rather read between the lines. Try to understand what is the Holy Spirit trying to tell you. Um, invite Him into your room before you read. Ask Him to reveal, uh, you know, the hiddenness or the hidden treasures in the Word of God. And that really does help you build an intimate relationship with the Father because you become aware about what He likes and what He dislikes and that actually helps you lead a more God-centered life. So apart from having a specific amount of time that you set aside to read the Word of God, Jesus also told his disciples that we must pray without ceasing. And if you ask me what is prayer, I think prayer is us simply communicating with the Father. It's us communing with him, talking to him and hearing from him. And that is something that we need to do all the time. I'm so glad that I belong to a church where our pastors have always taught us to practice the presence of the Lord. So in every small or big thing that you do, do it as though Jesus is right there with you because he is. 
So whether it be how you make your bed in the morning, uh, how you brush your teeth, how you take a bath, keep your cupboard, you know, and all of those little and big things, make sure that you're consulting the Holy Spirit. Always say, Jesus, what would you do if you were in my place? Um, Jesus, are you okay with this? And always continuously check in with the Word of God and see whether, you know, they tally or not. And that really does help you build an intimate relationship with the Father. Just practicing His presence in the little and the big things. That is something I do. Constantly commune with Him. You know, like, when we first get into a relationship or, you know, you're, you're in love, you constantly keep texting, you constantly keep calling to check in. And I think that's what you need to do. Constantly almost text the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, um, what should I cook for lunch? Holy Spirit, what should I eat for tea? Um, you know, what should I have for snack? What should I drink? Um, what should I wear? That's how I've been practicing the presence of the Lord. And that has really helped me build an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. I think apart from that, the kind of films you watch and, you know, just worship music, these are two very important tools that have really helped me develop a more intimate relationship with the Lord. You know, films like The Encounter, Passion of the Christ, Now the Chosen TV series, these, um, you know, content have really revealed Jesus to me and the heart of the Father to me in such a beautiful way. And so I encourage you, take some time, you know, maybe in the weekends and soak in some really God-filled movies. And movies have a very strange way of, you know, just connecting us to the, to the Father. And it's worked for me, so I, I don't know if it's going to work for you, if you're a mo movie buff or not. But it's something that has really helped me, so perhaps you can try that out as well. And also, apart from movies, worship music, you know, take your favorite worship songs and just spend some time, soak in it. And somehow, you know, music and films, these are supernatural tools and they take you to a different realm. So allow the Lord to speak to you even as you listen to your favorite gospel music. And I think the final thing that really did help me build an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit was finding the right community of Jesus lovers. So I'm so glad and thankful to the Lord that he brought me to a church, to a ministry where, you know, the gospel is preached uncensored, undiluted. And so that has always kept a check on my spiritual temperature, my spiritual life. And so, you know, by, by having people around you who can constantly pour into you, who can constantly correct you, you do tend to develop a more intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Something I've learned is that God hides himself in people. And, you know, different attributes of the Father can be found in maybe your pastor, um, can, can be found in your spiritual mentors, your leaders, your friends who love Jesus. And I think that's another thing that's really helped me. Um, I'd like to quote 2 Timothy 2.22 here that says that we must find a community of Jesus lovers. Stay away from things that stir up lustful passions, but find a community of lovers of Jesus who are all about, you know, just worshipping the Lord. So that is also something that's very, very important. I've done these few things and they've actually helped me to build an intimate relationship with the Lord. So with that, I've come to the end of this episode of On Request. Varshini, I hope you're watching this and I hope this video blessed your heart. If it did, then do share it with your friends, your family members and let them know that they are loved and that the savior of the world, the creator of the world wants to have a relationship, wants to have a friendship with them. And yes, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we'll be bringing you lots more Jesus-centric, hope-filled and amazing fun content in the coming weeks. Till then, take care, stay safe, and God bless you. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel.